All right, guys. <laughs> okay, this is extremely surreal. You're catching me at uh, an interesting time. Let me bring you over this way. Um, I'm gonna try and get some light on me here. I could probably play around with the exposure, but I'm no expert on the camera just yet. But I hope to be. Guys, um, I have just set off in my van from Christchurch in search of something, in search of a life of freedom, in search of what really makes me tick, in search of who I am. Who is Jacob Daniel Quartercast McDonald? I don't know. But I'm about to find out because I've once again gotten rid of absolutely everything I didn't need, put everything I own into the back of my car. This time it's a little bigger than the last car I used. It's a van and I've got everything I need. I have tested it out. I've slept in this van for the last two nights just outside my property. Uh, I, I'm sorry, outside my dad's house, um, which has been fun. The time is now. The time is absolutely now. I, one, well look, one thing, look, I don't want to be rude, but I cannot spend another night in that house. I'm living with unhealthy people. I'm living with people who live an unhealthy lifestyle, uh, whether that be, you know, through drinking, smoking, or what they eat. Um, not only unhealthy physically, but I believe mentally as well. I believe they have a, a very negative, um, opinionated mindset, and that doesn't suit me. Uh, in fact, it's depressed me, and uh, I have to get out. So today's date is December the 2nd. I turned 30 years of age exactly uh, five days ago, on the 27th of November. I'm 30 years of, uh, 30 years of age. At this very moment, I've got 138,420 YouTube subscribers. I'm just gonna lay everything out right now, guys. I am leaving Christchurch, I'm heading down south with a friend. I have a lot to thank my friend Tim for. He came over on my 30th birthday, hadn't seen him in, hadn't seen him in a while. He uh, stayed the night, came over. We went out the next day and did something. I, I actually tried to get out of it. This is something I, 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 I say I want to do, but I never do. And that is to jump in the car and go and just, just sit. Just walk alongside the water, go and sit and collect your thoughts and have a conversation with someone. Go, go and do it, and not only by yourself, but do it with someone. And that's what we did. We sat by the water for about five hours on Saturday. It's Tuesday, uh, sorry, it's Wednesday today. And we decided, I decided, we talked about things. He's, he's lived a life. You know, I could never, I could never work out how my friend Tim could live without knowing where he's gonna get his next dollar from. You know, li really live for the day, live for the moment. And I I just couldn't get it. That's because at that at that moment, and up, up until a good two years ago, well, up until probably a year ago, I was chasing the money. I was chasing uh, wealth creation. I wanted the next thing that was gonna bring me a million dollars. My life revolved around how I was gonna get 10 houses. And I was like, why? Why am I going to fucking sacrifice these best years of my life to acquire these things when I know, with my mindset, I know and I've realized, and YouTube helped me with this, that it doesn't matter where I get to, it doesn't matter how much money I have in the bank, I'm never going to be satisfied. Okay, I'm never going to be satisfied. And I know, oh shit bro, I know that there's people out there that have sacrificed their whole entire lives to get a bank balance or to get a house or to do something that they realize in the end they only did for other people's satisfaction. For other people's kudos, sorry, not for your own satisfaction, for other people, for other people's judgment. You just want to tell people about it and you know what? It doesn't mean shit, bro. It don't mean shit. Happiness is what means means everything. Money comes and goes. Money comes and goes, okay? Wow, money fucking comes and goes and I I've 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 started oh, I've, I've started a business. It didn't make me happy. I've got 100,000 YouTube subscribers. It didn't make me happy. What makes me happy at the moment? The thing that makes me the most happy is helping people in any way, shape, or form. But for me to help people, I need to be good. I need to be good inside. And I realized that as well. For me to be any good to anyone else, including my kids, anyone, my friends, my YouTube subscribers. 
for me to be good for any of that I need to be right up here and over the last two years I've slowly but surely gotten to this point December the 2nd 2020 I have lived a life of no regrets for the last six months and I've done it that's fucking something I wanted to do and something a lot of people talk about doing but they never fucking do live a life with no regrets within reason it all started when I came back here and I begun playing rugby again for my for, for Littleton it all began when I came back here and started playing rugby again I made that video talking about if you want to do something do it now that's where it started and the ball has just been rolling I start I studied as a personal trainer something I wanted to do for five years I got back in a bodybuilding stage I did two bodybuilding shows something I wanted to do for five for the last five years something I never thought would happen again I did a marathon something I never ever thought would happen you know what I mean and now I'm in a van I've gotten rid of all my shit I'm, I'm living minimalist I've gotten I've got enough to have a good sleep I've got enough to have a coffee in the morning and I've got enough to have a good workout every single day and if I can do that as well as you know get my meals sorted which I haven't sorted yet but I'm you know I'm not really worried about that right now but if I can have a workout if I can have a coffee in the morning and I can have a good sleep a nice place to rest my head I'm fucking sorted so I'm off to Queenstown with my friend Tim who would have thought 30 years of age off to Queenstown the back of my van when New Zealand is the quietest as far as tourism it's ever been it is the cheapest to travel and stay places as far as tourism it's ever been Queenstown is a fucking hot spot as far as tourism and like I just said it's the quietest and cheapest it's ever been it's the time to go I fell in love with the place when I went down there two weeks ago for the marathon I also fell in love with a girl I'm not gonna lie but that's not the reason why I'm going although it might be part of the story so guys that is enough from me we're staying our first night around Lake Tekapo. I'm gonna get the camera out when I when I see fit. But bro, wow, I just had a cry on camera. Because not because of how because of how passionate I am. Not not and the only sadness that came through was was sadness, feeling sorry for other people that are stuck in situations that they don't have to be. Alright? So guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you. I will see you when I see you. Peace.